Okay, I just showed you a water monitor I was just feeding. And uh, she's laid her eggs. So for nesting, obviously when you're breeding Indonesian monitors, and that could be, you know, peach throats, uh, blue tails, whatever, they have to have their specific areas, which is their territory, which is safe. And uh, so we have, some, we have some nice eggs. That's what a good water monitor egg looks like. It's round, it's full. If I go and candle it, if I go in a dark room, shine a powerful flashlight through it in about 10 days, I'll start noticing the egg from going from like a white yellow to pink. And that's uh, proof that it's fertile. And these are uh, at 86 degrees, they take about six months to hatch. So we're gonna test my counting abilities. I always look forward to monitors laying more eggs than I can comfortably count to. So, let me see how many eggs we can get to. This is a nice clutch. This is always, it's always exciting because you work so very hard to get these guys to this point. And, uh, you know, if you don't do things right, you, you, you do, um, you get a bunch of junk eggs. Water monitors are not the easiest things to breed. That's probably why I'm myself and Chris at Vital Exotics are some of the only people in the country to breed them because you have to meet all their uh, requirements. And obviously we know that that takes space, it takes time, and we have to worry about nutrition and everything like that. This looks like it's a pretty good clutch of eggs. You know, it's remarkable is how fat this female still is. Um, so she made kind of like this little rounded out cavity right here. All right, I think we, I think we got everything. So let's see how many eggs we got. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. So we got 15 eggs in this clutch. That's awesome. Breeding water monitors is fun when this happens.